Okay, guys, so let's start our class today. So, good morning, guys. Good morning. How are you feeling today? Good awesome. Okay, so let's start um, by talking something different. So, let's talk about blue zones. I was explaining you previously in the other session that blue zones are places where people live more than the rest of the people, okay, where there is the highest concentration of centenarians. Centenarians? People with over 100 years old, okay? So there's a guy, he went through the world to visit these blue zones in Japan and Italy, Costa Rica, some place in the USA, uh, Singapore, to try to find out what was making these people living more than the others. Was it the food? Was it the lifestyle? Was it the mindset? And he found like about eight criteria that he found important for people to be to live longer and happier and healthier. And one of the things he found out in Japan was that they call Okigawa or something like this. And means the purpose. It means when we have a purpose in life, it will make us live longer and happier. You know, if we wake up every day knowing we have something to do, this will contribute for our life quality. So it's going to be our sound moment for the time being of one song, okay, I'll put one song and I the one I was hearing before, I don't like it. Um, think about what is your purpose, okay? What is your purpose? And think about, no need to be save the world and end the poverty and criminality. Think about in Italy, your purpose was to wake up to shepherd the goats. Okay, that's it. My purpose, take care of my son, try to write my book. Okay, something simple. Um, what makes you wake up in the morning? Or what makes you, what is your, what guides your life, okay? So I'll put the song for three minutes and, uh, and then you share your purpose, okay? But think about this, deeply reflect because ultimately when you find your purpose, it will help you to guide your life somehow, okay? Yes? So five minutes for this. Okay, let's go with purpose. I'll share mine, so I already said my purpose currently is taking care of my son, it's really what makes me wake up coming to work, otherwise I'll be in my bed right now. Okay, this moment I'll be sleeping right now. Um, this weather makes me so sleepy. And also I have this long-term purpose that is to write my book that I'm writing since 2016 and I still need more 10 years to conclude it. It's a big thing. Um, so who wants to share the purpose? Okay, to be responsible. Why? Why not to be responsible? So you don't let people down. So you don't let people. Which, which people you don't want to let down? Yeah. Parents. Okay, that's your purpose. That's your purpose to make your parents proud, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, more. More purposes. Uh, to take care of my parents in the future. To take care of your parents in the future. Replay. Okay. Also, very nice purpose. Think about Sampa. <laughs> <laughs> what is your football name? Elvin. Elvin. Okay, nice. Anyone else? Ty, you have a purpose? Uh, to have a bright future. To have a bright future? Okay, the purpose. So I'm, I'm seeing most of your purpose is related to the future, right? So, and, and it makes sense because you have this path at school, always looks like you're trying to achieve something for the future, for next year, uh, for university, to get a job, to get a family. One tip, try to have a present purpose, okay? Something for now, right now, because your life is now, it's not going to be the future, and it's a common mistake that people do. You are so focused in the future, sometimes you forget the present. Right now, right here, we are alive, we are healthy, it's amazing to be like that. And you only realize this when you're sick, you know, when you're in bed, chilling, fever, <laughs> it's so good to be healthy. Okay, anyway, let's go and start our class today. Um, the goals, simple four goals, and let me explain you. We have the first part that is focused on the skill we are developing, collaboration, and then the second part is going to be more practical and for you guys to practice collaboration and move on with your team project. So let's read, you guys, you read the goals, okay? Vizal, you're not sharing the purpose with us. What is your purpose? Uh, it's okay, just read the goal. <laughs> just read the goal, don't find it out, don't worry. So, can you read this goal? Uh, understand the benefit and encourage our 
I'll just I'll just put them there. Don't be don't be so <laughs> grabbing. Okay. So understand the benefits and challenges of working as a team, okay? Because we have to work as a team right now in the present, but in the future, likely, if you're not going to be a couple sellers or something like this, if you're going to be a football player, you have to work as a team, if you're going to be a manager, is it? Is it your role? Okay. An ambassador. So you have to, yeah, don't laugh. It's, um, the future is open and you have a lot of potential, so it's very possible. So yes, like on the most... Hmm? What? <laughs> because it's supporting you, it's not laughing at you, it's laughing with you yes. through a bright future. Okay, so the second goal, uh, Kevin. Understand and apply the process of notating on secondary research. I have already questions about this goal that you shared with us. Um, so what is the process of notating? And can we take down notes right now, straight forward, from copy paste? No. We can. We just need to put quotation marks and give credit to the source. Okay? For example, or we can paraphrase or summarize. What about secondary research? Yeah, exactly. So when you read texts from the internet or in the old times when people would go to the library, when you collect data from uh, someone that did already the research is secondary. If you do yourself, the research is primary, okay? And then, hi. Okay, so pretty much you guys have to provide an outcome about the meeting, benefits and challenges of collaboration. Do you know any, what is the meaning of collaboration? Yeah, working together as a team towards a common goal. There are benefits, of course, we work all together. If you need to take out all of these chairs and desks out of the classroom and you do together, it will be easier, maybe even fun. But on the other hand, maybe Elvin wants to take the chair like this and I want to take like that. So can be some challenges as working as a group? Finally, Elvin. Identify and provide answers to the question by researching from secondary sources. Awesome. So you guys have your topic, right? Um, that uh, kind of can be turned into a question. <coughs> and that's what we are going to do by the end. So for now, activity number one, and I promise you from, from now on is going to be more active. I'm going to give you five minutes. I'm going to put the timer so you guys control the time. And what you have to do is to answer these questions. Okay, it's pairs, two pairs. Collaboration is collaboration. What are the benefits of collaborating or work as a team? And what are the drawbacks or the challenges of collaborating slash work as a team? I'm going to provide you one piece of paper to each group. And only one scissor and one glue tape thing. Okay, that you guys have to share the resources collaborate with the other groups. So once you finish these questions, you're going to stick your outcome here, okay? Oh. You cut your things, okay? You cut like what is collaboration, benefits, and drawbacks. So like one word? Uh, no, it can be even one sentence, short sentence, okay? Don't write a par paragraph with examples, quotes, just one sentence for us to read after. Yes, are we clear about this goal? Yes? Okay, so good luck. Five minutes. Yeah, then I'll put it back again, but it will be there already.
Are you seeing a stress reduction? Okay, so what is collaboration? They do it work together. Yes, collaboration is the act of working together in order to achieve a common and specific goal. Collaboration is all about working with others and achieving a common goal. I could not have said it better or the internet. You guys also research, right? No. Not just thought. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, the benefits, getting the job done or things done faster, yes, can be. Just think about this situation. All of you are a team collaborating and you want to have some dinner. And Emily wants pizza, but Ty wants Indian. But Elvin wants chicken. Elvin wants chicken. <laughs> and they want to combine food, okay? So do not be faster because you have a conflict to resolve. You know, actually be slower. If you are by yourself, have oh, chicken. That eat chicken, that all the other group is still discussing what they are going to eat. So yes, things done faster, yes, but on the other hand, sometimes it can be done slower because we need to but work. That's a drawback. Exactly, this can be also a drawback. And then increase efficiency, yes, reduces stress, depending on our team members. Okay? Sometimes working as a team might be more stressful. Actually, you're going to I think you learned this already. Sometimes working with a group, it's stressful because you rely and depend on other people. The outcome is not just from yourself, it's also related with others. Sometimes people are not compatible with you. You know, here at school, you can more or less choose your groups, but think if you're going to work, you might have to work with people you don't like. Okay? It happens to everyone. It's a thing. So, drawbacks, ideas can collide and melt into fights. Yes. Of course, kind of what we're talking, conflicts can happen. Difficult decision making, again, chicken, pizza, Indian, uh, my Portuguese food. The drawbacks is lack of trust among the team members and less engagement and personal contacts. Um, depends, if you're not a team player, yes, less engagement, <laughs> personal contact. But the goal of the team think is each one has a specific role, you know. Should be your job, guys. Define properly the goals of your project and the roles of each one. So, for example, Emily and Alvin, what are you guys going to do in your project? What's going to be the role of each one of you? But what's going to be your role on investigation and what's going to be his role? Research, right? Okay, that's it. Make sure that you are, you are balanced. Um, members to help you. you know, if someone is good at doing something, use that. Find your strengths and your weaknesses. You know, to like the transformers to create a really proper Megatron or something. Is it the you know, transformers? Yes. So, like, who is the, there's one that combines with all of them. Optimus <laughs> Prime. Self conflicts and issues, they will happen, okay? He really wants his chicken and she really wants her pizza and he really wants his my food and they are two. So resolve these conflicts like ever. My pizza with mayo <laughs> <laughs> chicken from hut. Okay, so celebrate your achievements and learn from experience. This is so important. If you're going to work in an environment of an office or something and you have struggles, goals to achieve by the end of the year or during the time period that you're working, celebrate yes to achieve this because this boosts. Anyway, questions about this? Okay, let's move on. So, let's go for the second activity of our class and this is a big one, eight minutes. I'll be struggling during 8 minutes because then I have no phone, I cannot touch the device, so I'll be just looking at you. Okay, I'll be walking around the classroom. So number one, have you narrowed down your issue? Okay, so remind me again your issues. Crime. Crime? Uh, Traffic jam? Inequality. Uh, wealth distribution. <laughs> yes. Is it that much of distribution? So, how to narrow your topic? Do you know how to narrow the topic? Yeah. How? How? It's too big, So, narrow down, kind of try to make it uh, as a, a research question, okay? But before going there, think about how 
is your topic slash issue, how is wealth inequality or wealth distribution, how is this situation around the world, okay? How is the wealth distribution around the world situation, okay? So try to find four sources, okay? How is the wealth distribution around the world? And collect the answer from each source, okay? Copy, paste, and put quotation marks. And just put according to the name of the source, quotation marks, copy, paste information, close quotation marks, four times, four different sources. Yes, for example, in your case, traffic jam, how is the current situation of traffic jam impacting the world, or how is just the current situation? Again, according to World Health uh, Organization, the traffic jam in the world is affecting the land. Okay, yes? Yes, so open, start the Google Doc, and then we have to upload on Google Classroom. But start just in an open page. In your case, upload it. So let me share with you guys the next part of the activity. Um, how many sources have you collected so far? Four. Four. Four, you managed to collect four? Yes. Four. I, I managed. One. Three. Guys, can you send up the idea that you collected from the four sources, from one source, from three sources? Hey, it has a lot of impacts. Do you know why? Doesn't matter. We have the whole term to research for it. And in your case, guys? And this happens around yeah, the world, yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah, yeah. 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 It creates fear, insecurity, right? Yeah. Um, do you think about this a safe country? Generally, guys, you think about the safe country? No. Yeah. Have you ever lived in South Africa? Even in Europe, no. USA, no. and what is very safe, guys? No. And what is very safe? Which one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. So do you think the world is safer than the US? Yes. It is always safer than the US. So Asia is safer than the US. So many things, guys. So submit everything in your Google Classroom. Got questions you. for this class? Nothing. So we'll conclude with a tiny video about collaboration. Thank you so much. See you next session. See you tomorrow. Put your last class now. Enjoy your equations. Thank you for being such a collaborative class to promote the positive environment in this class. Thank you so much. Enjoy your day. See you tomorrow.